It is our last day in Montevideo and we are ending our time here with one of our favorite things, going on a food tour. Since our Dutch DIY food tour that we did while we were in the Netherlands went over so well on YouTube, we're gonna try the same strategy again here and we made a list of nine food and drinks that we need to try today. We already tried yerba mate. Ah! It was interesting. <laughs> And then we had Chivito, which was amazing. So good. And now we're gonna try to check off the rest. Also, we had some help today from a website called AuthenticFoodQuest.com. They put together a list of 10 things to eat and drink in Montevideo, and we kind of copied them. So I thought we should uh, give them some credit. We'll link their blog post down below. Kind of a miserable person right now. Feeling a little sick to my stomach. Did the same thing that I did when we were in Thailand last year. We have this debit card that we use to pull money out of ATMs that doesn't charge us any fees. And I'm pretty sure that I left it in an ATM the other day when we were pulling money out the first day we got here. So at some point today, we're going to try to circle back and just cross our fingers that somebody turned it in. So yeah, pretty mad at myself to start this food tour. This is the grill we're supposed to be eating steak at. It is closed. Today is just not off to a great start. We're not really sure what's next. Didn't have a backup plan on the barbecue restaurant. There's a street that we passed back in the other direction. It looked like it had several restaurants, so. We'll check it out. Heading that way. It is 2.20 p.m. We have not had lunch. We're both on the verge of hangry. We felt like the beginning of this vlog started off kind of negative, so we thought we would just pause, get some ice cream, and be positive from here on out. I got dulce de leche with chocolate chips. It's working. Hanger has temporarily been avoided. I haven't made it all the way to my phone yet. I'm still angry. Still somewhere in there. I just have this cloud hanging over my head from leaving that card. All right, we're gonna be positive as soon as we leave the ice cream shop. What a beautiful day. Now it's time to find some steak. Wow, look how cool this truck is. Okay, our food tour is officially starting now. Our first place is the steakhouse and we're knocking three things off the list here and we just added one thing to the list. So first, we are drinking Tanat, and the Tanat grape was originally from France, and somehow it came to Uruguay, and it ended up growing better here than it did in France, and so now Uruguay is like the most popular place to get this wine. So like, Argentina is to Malbec as Uruguay is to Tanat, and it's pretty good. Our meal came with bread, and what our waitress told us was typical Uruguayan salsa, and it looks so good. This bread is like light and fluffy and warm and amazing. Mm. This place is off to a great start. Whoa. That's funky. So this will probably be the most interesting thing that we try all day. It's a sweet blood sausage never had blood sausage. I don't know that I've ever had sweet sausage, but apparently they put raisins and nutmeg inside of blood sausage. It's really black, it fell apart really easily when I cut it open. It smells very interesting. It's very confusing <laughs> to my brain. Because it looks like a sausage, but it doesn't have the same texture as the sausage. And it's really sweet and it doesn't really taste like a sausage. I don't hate that. It reminds me of a mushy meatloaf. Okay, moving on. We have been in this part of the world for 10 days now and we haven't had steak yet. And I heard that that's just what you have to have. So we're really excited about this one. We went with the flank steak. 
I don't eat steak often, so I don't have much to compare it to. But I think this is pretty high quality. I, I should have let you try the steak. Come, have some. And then the next place. I don't know if starting the food tour with steak and ice cream was the best plan. I'm already really full. The steak was pretty good. It was a little chewy for my taste, but I probably could have ordered a nicer cut and not the flank steak, so that may be my fault. But I'm glad we finally got to try steak. And our next stop is 15 minute walk away. Yeah, hopefully. We're gonna take the long way to give our stomachs more time to get hungry again. a very large Armenian community here, so we're gonna go try one of their specialties. Closed. I lied, the nice lady who greeted me at the door told me they're closed until seven, so hopefully we can go back later. Apparently Saturday afternoon was the worst time we could have possibly planned a DIY food tour because it seems that everything closes on Saturday afternoon. This is the cafe that we were going to go to next to have a tart, tart day. One of our next stops. I don't know, we're thinking about calling it quits and going to the beach. A failed DIY food tour. Figure the day can't end too bad if we go to the beach. Had a pretty good steak, a blood sausage. What do you think? I'm down. Beach it is. Actually, first we're gonna walk across town that way like 20 minutes to see if we can find the debit card that I think I left in the ATM machine. Yay. So I feel like all we've done today is talk to the camera about everything that's gone wrong. Unfortunately, that's kind of how our day's gone. We just went in the store where the ATM was where I thought I potentially left my debit card they didn't have it. That doesn't mean it's gone forever, because I don't remember leaving it there. I just can't find it anywhere, and that was the last place I used it. Hopefully it's gonna show back up somewhere. up on the food tour on our way home we went to the grocery store and got medio e medio which is half champagne half white wine and apparently it's a thing here so we're gonna try it and when our restaurants open up we're gonna go get dinner do you want to open it I'm kind of scared <laughs> it's right down there. And we're back. It is at least an hour later than the last time you saw us. What you missed out on was a very exciting conversation with the debit card company, with Visa, trying to explain to them that I left my card in an ATM in Montevideo and trying to get them to send me an emergency card. I think I communicated what I needed to, and I think one should be here on the 19th when we come back through Montevideo, but I really don't know. 
But now we are at the final stop of our food tour, which is the Armenian restaurant that we came to earlier today. The meat on here is so flavorful. It is so delicious. Really glad we continued the food tour. This is good. For as much of a failure that we felt like today, we did pretty good. We only did mark off two things. The tartar and yerba mate ice cream. But we still got ice cream, so I feel like we did pretty good. And that's the end of the vlog. Apparently there's a big Arminian uh, what was that? community. It tastes like sweet champagne. It's like extra whiny champagne. It's like champagne with a really bold flavor. It's like a really flavorful champagne. It's like champagne with syrup in it. It's like not as flat as I thought it would be.